Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today, a dive into the comments section and answers to viewer questions about coffee and Nespresso. So coming up, answers on Nespresso versus super automatic bean to cup machines, Nespresso tamping and levelers, making regular coffee on a bean to cup machine, and how to measure an espresso shot when it's loaded with crema. Now, over the last year, I've answered more than 3,500 questions left in the comments. So if you have one on anything coffee or espresso, use those comments, and I'll personally respond with a detailed answer, usually within one business day. And if it's a good one, I might even answer it in a future video like this. Our first question is from Little Wing, who asks, can you make regular black coffee with this machine? Now, this question came in on one of our many videos comparing super automatic bean to cup mo coffee machines, and the answer is yes, you can. I make my wake up coffee at home every morning on a Jura EN8 Micro 9, and then later I fill a travel mug for the ride into work. Here in the studio, I'm using a Gaja Babula. Now, technically, what I'm making is a long coffee or a cafe crema, but coming from beans ground fresh, quality is better than drip made from pre-ground and blows away what you get out of a Keurig or other machines using those pricey capsules and a similar brewing process. Plus, it's super convenient. Just press a button for a cup made from whole bean coffee ground fresh with no waste. And then, oh yeah, those milk drinks you wait in line and pay out the nose for? Well, these machines, you can make them better at home. Next up, Leonardo Caldas, and he asked, Mark, what's your opinion about Asso Coffee's The Jack Leveler? Thanks, so Leonardo's question came in on an older video we had on tamping and tampers. If you're not familiar with levelers, they are really easy to use and pretty much take the guesswork out of tamping. They distribute coffee evenly for less channeling and their design means no unlevel tamps and more consistency shot to shot. And funny, Leonardo should ask about the jack as I started using one a few months ago and I love it. I picked one up after a visit from Saro Delaglio. He's a past Italian cup tasting champion and we had him here in the studio to show us some really cool Barista Pro Nanotech filter baskets and IMS Nanotech shower screens. And he was using the jack leveler. Now, in the past, I've used other levelers, but most of those required a lot of messing around to adjust the depth. With the jack, it was so easy. Just turn the leveling head to adjust the depth. Now, there are 12 click stops per rotation and a scale etched into the side so you can be very accurate with the depth. And it's slightly oversized at 58.5 millimeters so you get an excellent fit in standard 58 millimeter filter baskets. Now, going to a leveler has really improved my shot quality with naked shots coming evenly from all areas of the filter basket and next to no spurting. You know, if you're getting spurts and naked shots, that's an indication of channeling through the puck. So, Leonardo, I love the jack and it's what I'm using now on a daily basis. Next up, Jay Fletcher 0516 asks, Mark, is there any chance you could do a video on your opinion between an espresso machine versus a super automatic machine? I'm curious as to what your thoughts are. You know, I should do a video about that and will add it to my list. Thanks for the suggestion, Leonardo. In the meantime, Nespresso machines are okay. They, they are small, convenient, and as far as capsulized pre-ground, the Nespresso coffees are, in my opinion, some of the better ones available. But those capsules cost a lot, like 70 cents to a dollar or more each. So if you're like me and doing four or five espresso or coffees a day, your coffee costs could easily run $1,000 to $1,500 a year. And that's just for me, one person. Then you only get a selection of maybe 30 types of coffee and you don't have much control over the brewing process. And then you've gotta be okay with throwing away the capsule or make the effort to recycle, which it's not always easy. With a super automatic machine, you can choose pretty much any whole bean coffee you want. And the best way to better coffee, yeah, it's grinding your beans fresh right before brewing. Cost-wise, if you're using whole beans at $20 a kilogram, that'll make about 100 cups. Do the math and that's just 20 cents per cup, maybe even less. They're just as convenient and there's no capsules to throw away. And with most all machines, you can tune your coffee flavor by adjusting the grind size, strength, and temperature. And these machines, they all have some way of working with real milk 
for cappuccinos, lattes, and more, ranging from automated frothing to attachable milk crafts for your favorite milk-based drinks at the touch of a button. Initially, the bean cup machines cost more, but in the end, you win on coffee quality and you're going to get that investment back with a much lower cost per cup. Next up, Worldwide 137 asks, when shooting for two ounces output, is that when the crema reaches a two ounce mark or is the goal to have two ounces of espresso once the crema settles? That's a great question, one I get a lot, so here's what I do. First, keep in mind that time and volume measurements when extracting espresso, they're just getting you in the ballpark. You can and should use flavor, visual cues, and maybe even brew ratios if you want to take your espresso to the next level. But for me, when I'm measuring volume, I'm considering how much of a shot is crema. If it's a coffee that's pumping out crema by the shot glass full, I might let it go a little more than the two ounces or 60 milliliters, knowing it'll settle a bit. But it's not going to do that by much. With most coffees, if it's a good, rich crema, there's not going to be much settling. At most, maybe a fifth of a double shot or 10 milliliters. I guess in the end, there's a little judgment you need to apply based on the coffee you are using. So if it's a bean that pumps out crema, maybe go a little over the two ounces, but not by much. Now, thanks everyone for the questions. If you have any, again, use the comment section on this video or any of our more than 1,300 other ones on everything coffee and I'll get you an answer, maybe even feature yours in our next Q&A video. I'm Mark, thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and come on back soon for more of the best in everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love. Oh.